Hi, I'm Craig Graham. Today I'm going to show you how to do complex roots. Find complex roots simply. Here we go. All right. Here's your question. Z cubed is 21 cis pi by 4. Now, this is in polar form. Cis pi by 4 means, in brackets here, we have cos pi by 4 plus i sine pi by 4 and that's the real part and that's the imaginary part and th this complex number looks like this so that point there now it's 27 from the origin and the angle it makes with the x-axis is pi by 4 which is 45 degrees now this is how you work it out first of all you deal with a 27 and you just find the cube root of 27 which is 3 and then, using De Moivre's theorem, you just divide this angle by 3. And that, if you divide pi by 4 by 3, you'll get pi by 12. Now that was 45 degrees. When we divide the 45 by 3, we get 15 degrees, which is pi by 12. And uh, there's the first root, which is Z0. Now there are three roots, Z0, Z1 and Z2. Now I'm going to show you a simple way to find the other ones. Right, that should be centered. Right, basically I'm just going to, going to use symmetry. The three roots are symmetrical. If Z is there, Z0 is there, then you come around 8 pi over 12 to Z1, 8 pi over 12 to Z2, and 8 pi over 2 back to Z0. Now, where do I get the 8 pi over 2? Well, let's go through it. That's a complete revolution. 2 pi radians equal 360 degrees. Now, these three angles are all equal, so I just divide that by 3 and that by 3, as there are three roots, and that'll be 120 degrees, or 2 pi over 3. Now, we're dealing with pi over 12, so we're going to be smart. We're going to multiply top and bottom line by 4, and that's 2 pi, over, 2 pi over 3 is the same as 8 pi over 12. And so we just move these angles around. Uh, now here's the calculation. There's Z1. We start at pi by 12, and we add another 8 pi by 12, and we get 9 pi by 12. And that's Z1. Then we take 9 pi by 12, and we just uh, add another 8 pi by, oops, that should be a 12 there. Wait a minute, I'll find my pen. Uh, where is it? Oh, here we are. We need to fix that. Right, fix, that's a 12. Okay, so we do 9 pi by 12 over 12, 8 pi over 12, and we get 17 pi over 12. If you want to, you could simplify that down to 3 pi over 12 but there are your answers. Very simple, very straightforward, and we're done. 